morning and welcome back. All right, my name is Mr. Redefined. Um, in today's lecture, I want to show us how we can cut a simple line trouser. And then this method I'm going to use, um, I am only going to make use of the waist, the hip, and the ankle in cutting, right? Now, there are different methods out there on how to cut a trouser. But then, the method I use, or I'm going to show you now, is the method I use only the waist measurements, the hip measurements, and the ankle, and of course, the trouser length. Now, don't forget that I will be in Lagos by the first week of June 2022. So, I will drop the link to join the group in the description box. Please kindly click on the link and join. If you are within Lagos and its environ, try your best to join. Um, the venue will be Surulere and I will come to show us how to cut, how to draft, how to measure, how to do a whole lot of stuff ranging from center top and trouser shirts, abada, danshiki, etibo, bomber jacket and a whole lot. And if you are in Lagos, please try your best to come out. It will be a free training, but then the cost of renting the hall, the chairs, the machines, the accessories we use in the tools we are going to use in sewing will be paid for. So the prices will be determined when a whole lot, a whole lot of us join the group. And then don't forget to click on the link in the, the description box to make sure you are part and parcel of this um, physical class. Bear in mind it's a physical training and not an online training so this method is going to show us how to make your simple line trouser using um the waist measurement the hip measurement and of course the ankle and the trouser length so i have folded my material in this in this form now the fabric must be folded in this pattern and then after which you make sure you iron out any rumples on the fabric so you iron out the rumple on the fabric the rumples might increase your measurements or might reduce your measurements when you are drafting so make sure that your fabric is rumpo free having said that now the next thing you will do is to mark out the baseline at the hem line now this baseline you must make sure it's straight enough right it must be straight enough and then when you must have marked it out then the next thing you will do is to mark out this other side now the straight line as well must be straight so you must make sure you use your your ruler in your um in your, in your marking your straight rulers in your marking and then the length where you are going to mark will be the length of your customer's trouser length so once you have marked the chalk and you have known that you have marked up to the person's length you pause on that stage now the next thing you will do is to apply two inches here now these two inches will serve you for the hemming or the folding of the trouser so you must mark two inches now you must mark two inches here then once you have marked the two inches you extend your line in this form and then after which you draw it out this way and then you apply your customer's trouser length which happens to be 40 and half right which happens to be 40 and half then you measure from the two inches mark 40 and half then you mark it in this form and then you have gotten your customer's waistline at this point then you are meant to mark it two times for you to know that for you to achieve a straight line on the west and then make sure that you are marking in a way that your tape must be straight enough your tape should never be slanted or sloped in any form then you have gotten your waistline at this point after which you now determine your crouch now for those of us that will come for this physical class in Lagos, i will take my time to explain to you the four or five methods you can determine your crouch by measurement by upright position by the quarter length of a trouser by hip over four and a whole lot of other methods as well so if you're in Lagos, make sure you attend this training it will be power packed knowledge now after which you the method i use is um hip over four now my hip i have is hips of 48 so by four is 12 so you mark at 11.5 now if you come to the training i will tell us how we can achieve all of this right so i mark 11.5 and then i extend my line in this form right and then on the hip of your customer you now mark 12 which is the crash line you mark 12 of your hip 
and then extra two inches right fine then after which you now apply your waist so the waist i have is 39 by 4 is 9.75 you mark in this form and then add extra one inch to your customer's waist one inch right don't add two don't add three so you 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 um, connect the waist allowance to your hip line in this form and then this is what you achieve then after which you have gotten this now on the crotch line you come up by two which is called the actual hip point so you mark it in this form right and then from the intercepts from this point you mark half an inch in a diagonal form this way and then with your pattern master or with your free hands sketch you connect now this pattern masters will be made available in the Lagos physical classes I have a dealer by name tops sewing tools so I think she also be present to sell her pattern masters and her very French cuffs now you are going to have the access to buy this and as well learn how to make use of these tools in your drafting method now don't forget that fashion has evolved to the to the point where it's now more technical in using of your tools in drafting and in cutting these tools make the whole work a whole lot easier and more precise and perfect so having said that then you connect in this form and then on the waistline you come down by half an inch now if you come to the training i will tell you the conventional rules that guides us to know how to slant our trouser and how to raise our trouser at the back panel and then this will be so interesting for you to be a master in all of these things and don't forget i'm coming to teach you so you can teach others all right having done that then you connect your waist loop of half an inch to the um, edge of your trouser lines in this form and then after which you have done this this way you now apply the pocket notching or marking then they have a conventional rule that states that pocket is 7 flap is 11 and 11 inches and knee is 21 so when you come I will as well dissect all those conventional rules tell you where they are applicable and where they are not applicable then I am applying 7 inches for my um, um, pocket depth here and then I'm applying 2.5 here for the up pocket notching as well then coming to the ankle side now because of the fact that my customer wants to have a fitted nature of trouser on the leg side or what they call pinch trouser then i am meant to um, make this ankle to be fitted enough then for me to do that now there's something different from measuring a tight measurement on your customer and then cutting in a pattern that will give you a pinched fitting then there are many ways you can do this as well but then for this particular trouser cutting how i do mine is i come in by 1.5 on the ankle point this way mark 1.5 on the ankle point and then extend the 1.5 inches to the hip or, or to the crouch line this way the line will go in a slanted form at this point then after which you must have drawn it to this point then you connect to the ankle and then make the ankle line to go straight down and then make sure it's flushing to the crotch depth right make sure it's flushing here in this form then you have achieved imputing a form of a dart line or fitted nature marking on the side of the trouser now the size of the trouser must not always be straight because the hip is bulging and the ankle is small that means that the connection should not be straight it should be in a bit sloppy form in order for the ankle and the hip to be in coherence having said that then at the ankle area you apply the customer's free ankle with the ankle i have is ankle of um 14 then by two is um seven then i will always tell us how to um make use of um, how to divide your components the the waist the hip the ankle and the laps in your drafting purposes now for this our particular measurement i am going to determine the ankle by dividing by two so 14 by two is seven so you mark seven inches on your ankle 
then having done that you come up a bit now don't forget that you are making a fitted ankle measurement here and then this ankle measurement we are going to mark or draft will be um the, the decision of your customer then if he wants it to be free as well you measure in a free manner if you want it to be fitted as well you measure in a tight uh, manner right then you raise you raise it up a bit now the extent of the raising might be from seven inches to ten inches from the two inches mark then this is this is the extent of your raising now the reason you should raise it to seven to ten inches is because the calf of every client starts from 13 to 12 from 12 to 13 inches above the ankle and in most cases the calf is is a bit not in most cases in, in all cases the calf must be bigger than the ankle right so you don't really make the ankle measurement to be applicable on the calf so in most times you notice that the ankle the calf area will be tight so you just have to take recognition of that and then that still that doesn't still mean you might not measure the calf if you so wish to have a perfect fitting on your ass feet you will measure the calf of your customer as well and then apply it from 13 inches 12 inches above the ankle point fine having said that then you take the the slimmer hip curve and then place in this form and then connect it from the hip line they're making sure that the point of the of the hip curb is pointing to the to the line that you raise from the ankle then having done that then you connect it in this form and then this is how it's gonna it's going to look like and then you link it up back again from here you link it up to the calf and then link it up again to the lap measurement now this is the simple one of the simplest methods you can lay your hands on trouser cutting now to be sure of what you are doing now the laps of my customer i have is 26 now divide by 2 you have 13 then cross check if 13 is inside this area which serves for your lap measurement is is entering inside meaning that it's correct now what happens when you have noticed that the lap is not entering at this point it's either you increase the laps or sorry the hip of the customer or you reduce the laps now all measurements must be in coherence meaning once your hip and your ankle is correct and they are properly connected your lap and your knee must fall in place now my hip of my customer was 48 so divided 48 by 2 by 4 you have 12 plus extra 2 inches you have 14 so invariably in all standard measurements if you divide the hip by 4 plus extra 2 it must be bigger than your lap's measurement divided by 2 that is one of the tricks you will use to know when your measurements is or are correct then having done that then the next is your um to check the knee the knee i have is 18 then i told us that conventional rule states that from your waist to knee is 21 so you measure 21 inches from the waist point and then check where your knee is applicable and then cross check if this point is entering 18 inches of my customer's knee circumference so 18 by 2 is 9 so you measure 9 inches from here and the knee is properly fitted or in the marking this is going to show you that your drafting or your measurements are correct and then you go ahead to cut so i'll cut this now and show you the result of the back right um so let's now see how the back is being cut and then um you and i know that after cutting out the front you will notice that the fabric will be bigger at the down area of the other fabric that was left and this other area will be smaller so you are now meant to turn the fabric or invert the cutting to come the other way around but then note that you only do this when you have a plain fabric but then if you have any fabric that has an inscription on it being a church building um umbrella um, animal tree every object must face upright so in this case you are now going to make sure that the initial cutting you we are doing the images we are being we, we are faced up and then you are not meant to turn it down at this point because the back will not be facing down and then you have spoiled or ruined the work and then bear in mind that um on no account should your any image or diagram face down all images must face 
upright position the worst um, scenario you might have is they are facing in a which was direction on some rare cases then having done that the next thing you will do now is to make sure you place the trouser in this form make sure that the ankle point is corresponding with the length of the trouser you marked here and then you are meant to extend this line to come out to the piece of the trouser here and then make sure as well that the back is bigger by two inches meaning you are going to place the front panel two inches up, up, um, after the back panel and then two inches as well below the the length of the trouser at the waist point they haven't done that then you mark two inches here now the back panel will be two inches bigger all through this curvy area then you mark two inches at this point all through then don't forget that there are still some other trouser methods i will cut i will also show you other methods you can use one inch or one and a half and then that will be done in the fiscal class in my Lagos uh, training that will come up by June first week of June and then the venue remains Suru Lere and then don't forget that I have dropped the link in the comment box if you're watching this video you must have um, heard about the announcement in my previous or in the first video or in the first time of this trouser illustration and then don't forget to join click on the link and join for you to be um, have access and know the information that will lead you to get access to the training ground and then um, all these things we are doing on the video you are going to come live and experience them in a direct learning platform and then we are also going to have a live recorded session for some of us that might want to take some videos home right so i will come with my recording gadgets my phone my mic my ring light and my tripod stand and then as well have it mounted in a point that each class will be recorded for your reference purposes so having said that the two inches will be marked on the curvy part of the trouser that the inner leg and then on the waistline you mark 1.5 inches on the waistline at this point and then you mark two inches here as well and then you connect this form from this ankle from this point to the high area and then the back trouser will be raised by two inches and then that is all you need to do and then you slope you mark it straight up to the points of the trouser at this point and then this is how the back panel is being um, marked or drafted so i will cut this now and then we now go ahead to show us the other components of the trouser which they are nine in number the front panel the back panel the waistband the loop the pocket facing the uh, pocketings for the front and the back um the 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 every other processes or every other methods will be um cut and then we see how they are being cut as well